Hi guys. So I really wanted to start like a weight loss journey vlog. So that's what I'm doing today. So I've been taking this medication called Mangerno. I'll put the name like on the screen so you guys can see. And I wanted to like make a whole vlog about like my experiences with it. So I've been on it for one week now and I wrote down some of the side effects and some of like um, my stats. Uh, so we'll go over that. And today is officially week two. So I'm gonna take my second shot today. I'm not gonna show you guys that because I feel like that would get demonetized. So we will start with my starting weight. So if like talking about eating or like weight loss or any kind of like weight, like obesity, trying to lose weight, any of those topics trigger you, please don't watch this video. You can watch any of my other videos, but some of you guys said that you wanted to see like my weight loss journey. So I figured we would start this series off right here. So I literally have notes. So we'll start with starting weight, it's 268. I haven't weighed myself today, so I think I'm gonna wait until maybe tomorrow morning and weigh myself like first thing in the morning, I just have to remember. So I don't have week one weight, but we'll do that soon. My symptoms for week one, I had slight nausea, not like anything crazy. I would just like have random waves of it. Like I'd feel like super nauseous one second and then I'd be fine. I've had such bad indigestion though. Like I literally am having it right now. Like I feel like something is like stuck right here and like any sudden movement I'm gonna like throw up. But I haven't actually like thrown up. But yeah, it's just like that feeling of like things aren't digesting right. And like I feel it like in my throat, like in my chest. And today my stomach was making weird noises. Like it literally was just like gurgling, which I looked it up and that's like a sign that your body isn't digesting things properly. So yeah, I'm having some indigestion. I've also had fatigue pretty much every day. I feel like I'm like way more tired than normal. But now that I'm like getting off of week one, I feel like I'm starting to be like less tired. But the first, I would say like three to four days, I was just like exhausted. I was like sleeping a lot through the night and just feeling very fatigued and exhausted during the day. But I feel like the main side effect that I've had is loss of appetite, not feeling hungry, and like nothing sounding appetizing. That has been like a huge thing for me. I just feel like I have not been hungry that often, except for like days like five through seven. I started to like feel actual like hunger and like my stomach growling, but I haven't had any cravings. Well, I've been craving chocolate a little bit, but I haven't had any. But the loss of appetite is like a huge thing. Like I feel like I've eaten like so much less than I normally would and nothing really sounds super appetizing especially for like dinner like breakfast and lunch I pretty much have the same things every day but dinner is difficult because like nothing really sounds appetizing so that's been difficult I had slight insomnia on night one I slept from I think it was like 10 to 3 and I was up from 3 to 4 and then I slept from five to six. So I had like a little bit of like insomnia. I don't know what that was about. But I was like wide awake at 3 a.m. And that's not, not normal. I feel like I've also had to go to the bathroom a lot more, like urinate more frequently than normal. But yeah, other than that, everything has been chill. But today was really bizarre because my stomach was just like rumbling. Like it wasn't, I wasn't hungry. It was like my stomach felt like it was like about to get upset but I hadn't eaten anything like that I don't normally eat so I don't know what the heck was going on with my stomach this morning but like it still hurts right now so I think that would just be under the category of indigestion overall I feel like I might have lost a little bit of weight I'm not too sure though I guess tomorrow I will weigh myself and see and then write it down and update you guys but I figured we would update after the first week so today is September 14th it's officially week one. I started it on the 7th. Tonight I will take week two shot. So I'm actually about to go take the shot and then relax. I did notice that the first time that I took the shot, like right after, I kind of felt like a little like lightheaded and like just tired, a little bit dizzy. 
but that went away like as soon as I went to bed like I was fine but then I had like the insomnia so yeah those are the updates for week one I will see you guys at some point very soon forgot to mention I'm on 2.5 milligrams of Manjaro, Manjaro, whatever. And I've been eating what I normally eat, but I normally eat pretty clean. I'm gonna make an entirely separate video of like what I eat in a day or like what I eat in a week. I've been eating pretty much like my normal foods, just like less of it. So yeah, thought I would include that. <laughs> All right guys, it's been officially two weeks on Manjaro. Figured I would quickly recap what week two was like. I haven't weighed myself yet because I woke up this morning and immediately ate breakfast. So I'm gonna weigh myself tomorrow before eating breakfast. Right, let's go over some of the symptoms that I had on week two. So for week one, I lost seven pounds. I don't remember if I ever mentioned that or not. So I did have insomnia the first night. I was like wide awake for a few hours and then I was able to fall back asleep. And then also on the first day, my stomach was gurgling. This also kind of happened a little bit in the first week, I believe. So my stomach was gurgling, it was weird, did not like it. It felt like my stomach was gonna get upset, but like it never did. And it was like the gurgling where it like, it, feel, it, didn't, it felt weird, kind of like, I'm gonna explain it. It just kind of felt like I was gonna have an upset stomach, but I never did. And like it was so loud, so I had to take like gas X so that it would settle down. I had severe back pain throughout the week literally don't know why but it has been so bad it's finally starting to get a little bit better now that i'm approaching week three of being on it so i'm hoping that that subsides throughout this week because it has been so uncomfortable just like my middle to like lower back and i don't even know if it's like related to manjaro or if it's like me working at desk job I have no idea also had some breakthrough period bleeding which was a little bit different I know that it's like a common side effect if you're on like an oral contraceptive, which I am. So I did have some breakthrough bleeding. It wasn't anything crazy though. Like I didn't even have to use a tampon or anything. It was like barely anything, but I did have that. I wanted to mention that. I also said that I wasn't wanting to eat a lot and I felt sick after eating. Those were like the first maybe like three days. And then on like day four, I got most of my appetite back. And I have been so bloated throughout the week in a little bit TMI, but I've also been constipated. So I've been taking some medicine for that. But yeah, I've just felt so bloated. And with being like that bloated, I kind of felt like I was gaining weight, which seems like I haven't yet. But it really felt like that because I was so freaking bloated. Yeah, and I said that after day three, my appetite started to come back, especially at night, which has been like my problem area has been like late night snacking and that definitely has started to make a comeback after day three um one thing i did notice physically though is that my pants are a little bit looser and i feel like they fit a little bit better but they're like getting looser and i feel like my lower stomach area looks smaller in the mirror and it like feels smaller i don't know if that makes any sense but those are the main things that i wanted to touch on for week two so today is september 21st so i'll take my third shot tonight i'm still on the two and a half milligrams and then next week will be my fourth week in a complete month on it so i'll probably do like an entire month recount but yeah that's the update for week two heading into week three now i don't have anything else really that i wanted to touch on just like i feel like my clothes are feeling a little bit bigger and I've been super bloated, constipated, and I feel like I've had some like acid reflux issues as well, which I've been taking medicine for that too. And that's pretty much it. So not too bad, definitely bearable, but the back pain was really bad. So I hope that gets better. And I hope like the breakthrough bleeding kind of like subsides because that also was just like annoying. But yeah, so far so good. I haven't updated you in a minute because I honestly forgot and then I started feeling really bad. But I finished my first month. That was back in September. Now we're in November. So I've been on it for a little bit over two months. So I did the 2.5 milligrams, finished that out in September. That really didn't affect me that much. I still lost like a decent amount of weight on it, but I feel like that really didn't like, I didn't have many side effects 
versus like the five milligrams and then now the 7.5 so with the five milligrams i just want to tell you guys like some of the side effects and if i lost any weight like all that stuff so i started the five milligrams at, like the beginning of october and i had pretty bad side effects throughout like the entire month i was super nauseous really bad indigestion i had some constipation I honestly just felt really sick throughout like the entire month and it was especially after like the first two days of taking the shot so that really sucked and also I've been getting like a lot more food aversions as of recently like nothing sounds appetizing so I guess that's good in a way but also kind of sucks because there's like nothing that I want to eat but yeah I literally lost one pound for the entire month on the five milligrams which was really discouraging which is why I haven't picked up the camera in a minute because I was honestly just like really upset and I was like why is this not working because I was eating significantly less I know that's not always like a good thing because then your body like goes into like starvation mode or whatever and then stores fat I think I still ended up losing like a pound off and on throughout the entire month also during the five milligrams I had a horrible sore throat and I thought it was I don't know if it was the medication like a side effect or if I was like genuinely sick, but like towards the end of the month, I did get like an upper respiratory infection. But either way, throughout the entire month, I had like an awful sore throat. That was one big side effect. And then like the stomach cramping and the nausea and indigestion. And now I'm on the third month. So I'm on the 7.5 milligrams. And this is my first week on it. And I'm not even kidding. This has been horrible. Like I have been so sick. I actually had to take off an entire day off of work. So I took my shot on Monday, I ended up having to leave work early on Tuesday because I genuinely thought I was going to like explode. Like every end, everything I thought I was like literally about to die. So I ended up having to take a little bit of time off of work that day. Um, so that was not fun. That day I had like stomach cramps, like awful stomach cramps. I literally thought I had period cramps because I'm starting my period this week too. So I'm just like really struggling. Um, but it was mostly just like stomach cramps, severe nausea, indigestion, and just like my stomach was just like upset. I don't even know why. That was rough. And then Wednesday was a little bit better. I was still a little bit nauseous pretty much like consistently throughout the day, but it was like manageable. And I did not have any stomach cramps, which is kind of like interesting because the first day after it i had such severe stomach cramps and then the second day i didn't have any the main thing was just the indigestion and the nausea and now i'm on day three today's friday and i pretty much have the same thing just like a little bit of nausea and indigestion and i have a headache i've had a headache kind of consistently but that's pretty much it and since starting the 7.5 milligrams i've actually lost three or four pounds i have to double check so that's pretty good. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know how it's going.